Hello everybody, welcome to this video, Claude Demir here again. Let's talk today about white balance. This is very important to get your colors right, so you need to understand white balance. And this is the content of the Ultimate Security Camera Guide, the link here in the description. So click and get yours. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave your thumbs up, your comments, and hit the bell notification, okay? So let's get started here, white balance. I s you can see a camera here is not a security camera is a Canon camera that I use to take pictures. But as you can see, there's an information here about white balance. So I have to set up the white balance correctly so I can have better pictures. We see information here about color temperature. This is very, very important that you understand that. You're gonna learn this in a while, but basically color temperature is gonna say how hot or how cold your, Im your image is right here. I have an example of 4200. That's the color temperature. I'm talking about Kelvins. It's not Celsius, it's not Fahrenheit, it's Kelvin. Kelvin is a unit of measurement of temperature, okay? You're gonna learn a little bit more and you understand that in a while, okay? So let's come here to the next slide. Here you can see some pens with different colors. So you got red, blue, green, all of the colors here. And here you have a camera that's pointing to these pens, right? If you get the white balance wrong, you're not gonna see these colors correctly, okay? So you need to have the correct evidence in your video. So the colors is, are very, very important for that. I remember I was in an exposition long time ago and I was watching a camera and in the monitor, I could see myself using a purple suit. But in fact, my suit was black, was not purple. The, the color of the camera was completely wrong. So the evidence will be bad if like, somebody need to talk about me, so I say, hey, you need to find this guy that using a purple suit. And it was not, it was a blacking suit there, right? So. It's very, very important that you set the white balance to get your colors right, especially in an environment like this. It was an exhibition, right? You're like trying to sell your camera. Your camera is not even working good. Your camera is like giving you the wrong colors, right? So get your white balance correctly, okay? So here's an example of how it works. So here there's an apple and everybody knows an apple it's red. So the color is correct here. This one in the middle, it's not because as you can see, it's kind of yellow and we call that too hot. And here is kind of blue. So we call that too cold. So when it towards to yellow, we call that too hot. When towards to blue, we call that too cold. This comes from the color temperature. As you can see here, we have color temperature in Fahrenheit and Celsius. That's the way we use in our countries. Here in the US, for example, is Fahrenheit. Other places, usually we use Celsius, but there's also Kelvin. So Kelvin is also the temperature. It's a unit to measure temperature. And we can measure temperature in Kelvins for white balance. As you can see here, I have 4,200 Kelvins. This this K here is for Kelvin. So in this camera that I used to take picture, we can set that color temperature in Kelvins. Then you're gonna get your colors correctly, depending on the light you are using, right? If you match the color temperature of the light that you're using in the place where you're taking picture. So that's why you need to set up your white balance correctly, okay? And here's a menu for a security camera, as you can see here. There's the white balance. You can come here and choose which one you want. But here you don't see the color temperature. The color temperature is there, but you cannot see it. You just choose if you wanna use ATW, that's automatic white balance, or you can set manually, or you can use AWC, outdoor or indoor, okay? More on that later, right? So basically you need to come here and choose your white balance correctly so you can have your colors right. Let's take a look here in the menu of a camera. This is an analog camera. You can press the button here, look at the monitor and see the menu there. As you can see here, white balance, uh, set it, uh, can set up for menu. I can set up for AWC, ATW. That's are some examples. You, you can see that the color changes here in the background, okay? So basically menu, you can choose the way you want 
more towards to red, more towards to blue, the way you want to set up your color temperature manually. This is not that good if the light condition is changing, right? Every time the light changes, you get to adjust again the white balance, okay? So it's, that's why there is some um, automatic white balance like this one. If you go to ATW, it's automatic white balance. The color of the camera is corrected automatically. Some good cameras can work with this uh, uh, correctly. Some can't, like the one I was talking about. I was using like ATW, but was not working fine. So be careful with that. Good brands work fine with uh, color temperature and some cheap camera doesn't, right? So here there's another option, AWC. This one, you just point some uh, white paper to the camera and say, hey camera, this is white. So please adjust the white balance according to this color here, according to this light. So the paper is white according to the light you're using at the environment. So you're gonna set up the camera like this, it's a reference for the camera, okay? And then there's another way to do it that's outdoor. You put outdoor here in the camera, the, the camera is gonna assume the color temperature that's outdoor because outdoor you have the sun and the sun has like specific color temperatures. The camera knows that and the camera will try to adjust for outdoors and also for indoors, right? Most of the time you're gonna use automatic white balance. Most of people use that automatic white balance, but be careful with the camera you're using. Some of them can't get this right, okay? So guys, keep studying, keep watching videos here in the channel, subscribe, leave your comments, your thumbs up, and hit the bell notification so you can receive more videos like this one. I see you in the next one, bye.